Many people like to believe they have a little bit of a daredevil inside them, but are any of them willing to actually test those beliefs? To be a daredevil, one must be fearless and willing to participate in the riskiest of activities solely for the thrill of it. They thrive off of danger and adventure. In this video, we've gathered some of the boldest and thrilling activities people do for fun. The real question is, would you dare? Let's find out. Number 10. Shark Cage Diving How about entertaining unannounced in the territory of an apex predator? Who would be crazy enough to try this petrifying activity for the first time? Well, it's hard to credit one man for the madness, but French naval officer and filmmaker Jacques Cousteau used a shark cage for his film The Silent World in 1956. Soon enough, in the 1960s, Australian filmmaker Rodney Fox developed his own version of the shark age, which was inspired by an almost fatal shark attack he faced while visiting a zoo. Ever since, shark diving has become an activity accessible for almost anyone. Shark diving begins by you suiting up in a way that allows you to breathe underwater before entering a metal cage, wetsuit, mask, regulator and oxygen bottle. To be fair, it is refreshing to see humans rather than animals in a cage, isn't it? The metal cage is then descended into the ocean. You have now entered the layer of the beast. Soon enough, you'll be surrounded by sharks, often curious and sometimes aggressive. At only an arm's length away at times, you can observe these magnificent mammoths of the ocean without any aquarium glass or television screens. The possibility to take pictures underwater is as real as the sharks themselves, allowing you to back up your scary tales with amazing photographs. The blue and clear waters of Hansby, Cape Town and Durban in South Africa are some of the most popular destinations in the world to go shark diving. You could also encounter sharks in the warm waters of Cancun and Playa del Carmen in Mexico, as well as in the cold waters of South Australia. Number 9. Bungee Jumping Bungee jumping is pretty secure, with the assurance of a harness and a tried and tested elastic rope. That being said, one of the most common fears that people have is acrophobia, or the fear of heights. People could completely eradicate this fear by going bungee jumping. Even the toughest kid on the block will feel a bit lightheaded with fear as they make their 216 meters high to go bungee jumping from the Blokrans Bridge in the Western Cape region of South Africa. For your information, the Blokrans Bridge is the highest commercial natural bungee jump in the world, giving you an idea of how scary it can be. One thing's for sure, if you can do this jump, there are very few skyscrapers that will strike fear in you. Number 8. A Ride in a Roller Coaster Roller coasters may seem like a very modern type of entertainment, constantly getting bigger, faster and scarier thanks to advances in technology. But they actually date back to the mid-1800s. Gravity-propelled railways built to transport coal from up in the mountains down to the town in Pennsylvania, US, were hired out at weekends by fare-paying passengers riding purely for the fun of it. Today, theme parks are big business, but with queues occasionally as long as eight hours for an average ride of under two minutes, not to mention reports of riders suffering strokes, brain deformation, and serious injury due to crashes, how come we put ourselves through it? 
What is it about roller coasters that some love so much? And is it an experience we tend to like less as we get older? Enjoying roller coasters is linked to sensation seeking, the tendency to enjoy varied, novel, and intense physical experiences. At first glance, it may seem to be down to the experience of speed. But the evidence for linking sensation seeking to speed is not compelling. Perhaps the draw of roller coasters is the enjoyment of the visceral sensation of fear itself, much like watching a horror movie. Number 7. Parachute Jumping Skydiving is fun, but it's not without its scary moments. However, if there's no challenge, then the fun wouldn't be as great. If you go out of your way to avoid anything that scares you, you'll likely have a pretty boring, non-fun existence. It's a paradox, but how much fun you have is tied to physical exertion, risk and a challenge, all the elements of a skydive. What makes skydiving so fun is overcoming the mental challenge of facing a fear overcoming it and learning that you actually enjoy the thing that you feared so much. Interestingly enough, you'll notice that people who have the most fear about skydiving also seem to have the most fun. Number 6. Rock Climbing For those already converted, there's no good reason why you shouldn't go rock climbing. You get a whole body workout, a tan, some quality time spent with a friend or loved one, and a refreshing mental challenge. Climbing safely requires you to put your life in someone else's hands. There's nothing quite like tumbling five meters to the ground and potentially straining a shoulder to ruin a friendship or relationship forever. Even worse, if it's because your belayer couldn't be asked to look out for your safety. Basically, this means that when you've scaled a wall and come down successfully, you would have effectively built a tank full of trust with whoever is belaying you. If you're looking to test out a potential spouse or business partner, rock climbing could serve as a good filter to see who's the real keeper. Number 5 Whitewater Rafting Whitewater river rafting doesn't sound like a scary activity on paper. But mind you, when the forces of nature take control, as the Class V rapids in the Imbut River in the Verdon Gorge do, even the bravest souls shiver in their boots. Class V rapids are extremely exciting and dangerous at the same time, but don't take our word for it. According to the American Whitewater Association, Class V rapids are, quote, extremely long, obstructed, or very violent rapids, which expose a paddler to added risk. Drops may contain large, unavoidable waves and holes or steep, congested chutes with complex, demanding routes." End quote. Other than an adrenaline-fueled experience, whitewater rafting adds layers and layers of courage and endurance to your day-to-day -day life. Number 4. Zip Lining Zip lining is an action-filled recreational activity that involves riding a steel cable on a protective seat or a belt between two points and generally on a valley that exhibits spectacular sceneries. Origin of zip lining is highly practical and used in the Himalayas and Alps as a way of transportation and observation in Costa Rica without disturbing the natural environment. Zip lining as a recreational activity is fairly new. It has been around since the late 20th century. Today, zip lining is a growing outdoor activity with millions of participants around the world. In simplest terms, zip lining is done utilizing the decline of the slope through a cable that starts from a relatively higher point compared to the end. The friction is reduced 
with a pulley from which zipliners are riding down at a slightly accelerated pace. Nevertheless, the maximum velocity of the ride will be determined by different factors, such as the person's weight, the slope or the length of the cable. The height of the cable is also affected by the structure of the line, whether it is constructed on a natural platform or an artificial one. Its length may also differ depending on the required intensity. Moreover, there are two kinds of brake systems for controlling speed. People with heart problems, high blood pressure or other physical issues should consult a doctor before ziplining. If you're still with us up to this point, kindly take a minute and click on the subscribe icon below. Also, give us a like, share the video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's continue. Number 3. Caving Caves are not everyone's cup of tea. But for those who find excitement at the prospect of entering a dark hole in the ground or sometimes underwater, caves are a wonderful source of adventure, a lot of fun for sure. Caves are natural spaces, usually underground, large enough for us humans to enter, formed by weathering of rocks caused due to natural agents like wind and water. As old as it is, planet Earth is constantly undergoing weathering and over the years has formed some of the most amazing looking caves and cave systems in the world. Be it the space below a desert or surrounded by ice or magma, the subterranean world is an interesting one with many species of flora and fauna yet to be discovered. Not to forget the well-preserved fossils and other evidence of life from millions of years ago. Number 2. Ice Diving Just pronouncing about ice diving sends a chill down my spine. The extreme activity is not only scary on a mental level but also physically. As the name suggests, Ice diving is a type of penetration diving where the dive takes place under the ice. The pioneers of this activity were divers Jim Thorne, a photographer from New York City, and Donald Johnson, a project engineer from Skokie, Illinois. Together, these fearless men attempted a single open-circuit scuba dive under the ice in Antarctica on the 5th of January 1961. Ice diving can have potentially deadly effects if not done under the correct conditions. The most common risks being getting lost under the ice, hypothermia and regulatory failure due to freezing. The brutal activity, however, is a lot about putting your mind before your body. Once you overcome the fear mentally, your body can cope with the frigid water with the help of the appropriate equipment, of course. Needless to say, you must know how to swim for an activity like ice diving. Furthermore, you get the rare opportunity to explore the underwater Arctic world, including seals and other exotic animals. Number 1 Staying at Haunted Places The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California is reputed to be the most haunted house globally. More than a thousand ghosts are allegedly in residence. This house, the inspiration for the movie Winchester, released in 2018, starring Helen Mirren, originally belonged to Sarah Winchester, who was the widow of William Wirt Winchester, the gun manufacturing magnet. Construction of the house began in 1884, completely unguided by any sort of coherent building plan, and it continued unabated until 1922. Rooms, whimsical architectural features and different wings and floors were added haphazardly, resulting in a rambling, bizarre puzzle of secret passageways, stairways and alcoves. 
Some doors don't go anywhere, and windows with views into other interior rooms. There's even a room constructed specifically for conducting seances. At its peak, the house had more than 500 rooms, more than 10,000 windows, and many dozens of fireplaces and stairways. The Winchester Mystery House is a place where one could very easily become lost, and there are real scientific explanations for why people believe that ghosts thrive in such habitats. It is, in short, a very creepy place. These places possess combinations of features that humans have evolved to regard with caution, either because they were associated with the presence of predators or natural hazards, or because they provide limited sensory information and restrict freedom of movement in a way that could impair our ability to deal with an emergent threat. Creepy, right? We thought so too. That's all on our video about the 10 scariest things people do for fun. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.